that damn guitar, man? When is it? The riff is 23 or 24? Uh, 23. This is Deuteronomy. 33 and 29. Happy art thou, O Israel. Who is like unto thee? Happy art thou, O Israel. You spoke all Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The scriptures ask, who is like thee? Nobody is like us. We are the Zion. Zion means monument. We are the monument of the most high power on the face of the earth. When all these other nations see us, these damn Chinamen, whoever, when they see us, they're supposed to fear us. And they'll know that there's a high power that rules over us. Therefore, we rule over them. Old people saved by the Lord. It, it, it's telling you again that there's a specific people saved by the Lord, not the whole world, like this bubblegum head nigga brought out not too long ago. The shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency? And thine enemies shall be found liars into thee. First of all, it's telling you, you got an enemy. And if you don't know who your enemy is, the scripture just said, whoever your enemy is, they was going to be found out to be a damn liar. Who has lied to us? Side out, who's the number one liar to our people, man? Right. Who's the number one liar to our people, bro? I'm asking you a question. Who is it? Who, I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. I'm trying to be a good listener If I want to speak, I'm going to speak when you But if I'm asking you a question, why you refuse to answer? I'm asking you a question. We talking like men. I'm trying to be a listener. All right, that's cool, man. That's cool, man. I'm not here to argue with you. I don't argue with you. We're not arguing, bro. We're talking. I'm not that kind of We're not arguing, bro. We're talking. DJ gonna mean no harm. I know. That's what I'm telling you. I'm just letting you know that it ain't no, we not arguing. I talk loud. I'm a man. We men. I don't move The scripture tell you to come out here and cry out loud and spare not. So I'm doing my part, bro. And we commanded to speak bold. Alright? Well, I hope it's not that you're afraid to say it. I ain't saying it is. I'm not afraid of nobody but him. That's good. I fear God. That's good. Nobody else. That's good. I do not fear man. That's good. That's good. I'ma tell you who your enemy is, so called. I'm gonna ask this brother right here, man. Who has been the number one liar, deceiver, murderer, change of history? Change of doctrines, okay. change of landmarks. Who has polluted the who has polluted the land, the land, air, and water? Who has junk flakes floating in space? Who has junk floating in the seas? Who got our water polluted with chlorine and, and, and fluoride? Who got us eating GMO foods, man? Who, who got abortion and who is that? And who is so called the so called white man? And the reason we say so-called, because he's not white. He gave himself that title white, trying to be pure. Right. Like like you just got to say it about Plymouth Rock, they call themselves Puritans, trying to be pure. They not pure, man. They the devils, man. They the ones who gave our people this image, man. The scriptures tell you about, they, they covered the faces of the judges thereof, man. They specifically tell you, Jesus it. Specifically. So why are people still holding up this image, man? That's the that's the that's the nature of the beast. That, 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 that Hosea we just brought out, like you said. Destroy for lack of knowledge, man. And then when you bring it out, you got fucking wildly coyote niggas like this that go against Hey bro, let me tell you something. I don't mix with fantasy words. According to the scriptures, let me ask you something. According to the scriptures, what does profane mean? Not what the Esau and told you in Webster's dictionary. According to the scriptures, I learned profanity from white society to black society. I didn't know how to. But let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you because you didn't know. I'm gonna tell you because you don't know. And you can look this up for yourself. Don't take my word for it. What I'm saying here, I don't curse. What you saying? What? You hey man. Words while I'm What's the curse the word. word? That's the word. According to the scriptures, what's the curse? According. See, look, look, look. See, uh, uh, let me tell you, brother. Let me tell you, brother. Let me talk. You, you not, you not the authority up here. You not the authority up here. You not the authority out here. If he, if you was under the authority, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, you would do what he commanded you to do. You commanded to learn this word, and you come out here and push this word. Here we go. You got what enough. Curse? We got emo another emotional what is a curse? emotions. Hey, somebody call H Town so we can sing that song. Emotions make you cry sometimes, bro. What is a curse? 
What does profane mean? Show it to me. Show it to me. You gonna shut up after I show you? Show it to You gonna shut up after I show you? Yeah, shut up. Oh, you gonna shut up after I show you? Because I can show you. You can't show me. Man, hey, bro. Look at that. No, no. We got witnesses out here. After we show him this, you can't he show said me. he was gonna shut up. You, no. heard it, huh? you heard it, huh? You heard him. You heard him. We got witnesses. You heard him. We're dealing with truth, man. We ain't out here flip flopping going halfway. If you're dealing with truth, why you put prophetic in there? Do, do you know what profane means according to the scriptures? Damn, man, I know fucking and the curse words you use it's prophetic. Says who who said that's curse words? That's what Esau told you, man. The Lord called his people dumb asses. Why are you so what so what you bad with that? Why are you using that? No words. Because I gave I just read to you in Paul in the Corinthians. Hey, Wally Coyote, you, 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 you get your, 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 your rabbit ball across the street. Hey, let me tell you, because I know you don't know, bro. I'm telling you, because I know you don't know. You ain't got to agree with it. You ain't got to agree with it. The scriptures say, so what if some don't believe? Show it. We finna show you. And you're going to either have to shut up after we show you, or get the hell up the block like this guy. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Uh, I'm finna show you if you shut, shut up. Show. Will you shut up and listen? This is uh, Matthew chapter 26, verse 70, 72. I'll start at 71, 7, 69. Now Peter sat without in the palace, and a damsel came unto him, saying, Thou also was with Jesus in Galilee. But he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. And when he had, was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him and said unto them, that that were there, that this fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again, he denied with the note, I do not know the man. And after a while came unto him they that stood by and said to Peter, surely thou art one of them, for thy speech be worth thee. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. So Peter began to swear and to curse, man. He just said curse! He said curse too. Curse the word. Well, let's see what I'm talking about. Got it. It's a difference between profane language and cursing. It's like this, brother. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Right, right, right. right. I'm not taking it right here. I'm not taking that from you. I'm saying this. This is what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on. This is what I'm saying. It's, it's two types of curses according to Western civilization. According to the white man definition. Curse, right. If I say, God, I curse, I pray this man die tomorrow. That's putting up a curse. Now, if I say, shit, damn, motherfucker, that ain't nothing but words, man. My words for other yeah, words. Right. Words. According to, according to, that's how you've been raised, bro. Good luck, you, brother. According to the scriptures, the word profane means outside of the temple. It don't have nothing to do with language, bro. Hey, 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 give me that question. According to you. Hold on. Did that the Lord called the, the, the wicked to pay attention? This nigga ain't listening. He ain't listening, bro. He ain't listening. No more, he ain't listen. listen. If you want somebody to pay attention, what is a viper? What is a viper? What is a viper? We're not out here for everybody. There you go, ride the hell on. Hey, but see how people is emotional, man. That's why the scriptures tell you you can't put new wine in old bottles, man. You ain't gonna break these caps that more with the coon spirit, man. This is for the elect, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody not finna get this, man. For the edification of the brothers that's out here listening, the word profane means outside of the temple. We are the temple, man. This is the temple. Anything outside of this word is profane. It don't have nothing to do with language, man. So you get trusting this devil. We just read that your enemy was gonna be found out to be a liar, man. You gotta accept that you have an enemy, man. This goddamn devil is your enemy. If this devil told you that this is the Lord, when the scriptures tell you clearly that this is not, who else gonna keep pushing this man but a liar and a devil, man? But our people too goddamn simple, man. That's why you're gonna be fucking destroyed, man. 
I just read in Corinthians what the scripture said, although I be rude in speed and not in knowledge, man. We gotta be men out here. Stop being pussies, man. Stop being simpletons, man. So lock you, brother. Man, hey, man. Esau, why you disturbing this, this brother, man? Hey, man, don't, got nothing else to Esau, don't, don't open you your mouth. Else, don't open your mouth no more, bro. You gonna get the hell up out of here, man. We don't ask you to come out here. We're not out here for you. You don't serve no purpose out here. You done served your purpose. You know your judgment. You done kissed the feet. You might as well just go somewhere and live it up, man. We not. We don't want nothing from you. We tease you and play with you just to mock you. We don't care about you. We don't want you around us, man. It ain't nothing you can come bring. You keep your wine and your drink. I don't want none of nothing from you. You could bring There's that. Nothing. You don't want no, bring no, that, no. We don't want nothing from you. It's nothing you Edomites can do for us but go into captivity. That's hey, what I want. Hey, this, this, this just Keep a, your shit. This the this application. Oh, you know, the simple niggas, the nigga come out here with no scriptures, don't understand the scriptures, tell me, right, show me what the Lord curse, bro. I'm finna show you right now, bro. This is Matthew, come on. This is Matthew 11 and 19. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, behold a man, gluttonous and a wine bibble, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. And then he, who is the he, who you even call the Jesus, then he, then began he to upbraid the cities, wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not. Does anybody out here know what the word upbraid, upbraid mean, man? I'm going to tell you what the word upbraid man means, man. It means to revile, to speak harshly, to curse, to talk down upon, man. Man, we just ain't out here with it, man. Hey, bro, if it was some nigga out here with a Nat King Cole Papa doing his head, with a, with a tight uh, suit, march suit on, with some fake ostrich skin to chew, out here shuffling and tap dancing, you wouldn't question nothing you got to say, man. But we out here bringing you this word, man. You ask us a question, we go straight to the scriptures and give it to you, man. But our people still don't get it. Esto Cristo is negro, no blanco. See? Our people don't want to hear the word, man. But like the scripture said, they say to the seers, see not. To the prophets, prophets are not into us right things. Speaking to us smooth things, man. But that's the smoothest you're gonna get out here, man. You're gonna catch this missile, man. And you're gonna be destroyed, man. This crack about to unleash martial law and sweep these and cleanse these streets, man. He's about to push this arm by these chip on you, man. And all hell for the break loose out here, man. And you the fucking deserve it, man. You damn deserve it. Go ahead, brother. Uh -huh. We ain't out here for no wildy coyote chase the road runner niggas. No chasing the tail ass niggas. We out here to fish for the elect, man. And give you your judgment. Thus said the most high power. The hell if you don't believe, man. I ain't out here for that. Simple ass niggas, man. What's up? Got my patience. patience, I've been coming out here seven years straight, non-stop. That's my patience, bro. That's what the Lord say, come out on the highways and byways, proud loud and proud not. We ain't out here to spread no feelings, man. We out here to give our people their judgment and to get them right, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh This ain't no evangelism, this ain't no, no revival. Either you get it or you don't, man. The scriptures say, his sheep go hear his voice. So no matter if I'm using so-called pearl cuss words, which they not cuss words, got it, bro. Or if I'm out here, whatever. If you if you the elect, which the elect were chosen before the world was formed, you're going to get this word. Because I'm not telling you what I think. This brother not telling you what he thinks. This brother not telling you what he thinks. We going into the scriptures and pulling it out, man. But just like the scriptures say, our people wasn't going to... They weren't gonna get it, man. But guess what? It said if they don't get it, we prophesy to the wind, man. The show keeps moving. Go ahead, brother. Uh, uh, 
That, that scripture don't say that, bro. Nah, that's not in the scripture. The scripture don't say that. Go ahead, brother. It's, 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 it's 12 tribes of the nation Israel. It ain't no 18 nations. I don't know what it is. Where they laid it. 
but go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee, there shall ye see him, and he said unto you. Verse 8, 